For all of human history, we've only ever seen one side of the moon. The far side has always been a place of profound mystery, totally hidden from view. But China's ambitious space program is finally pulling back the curtain. And what they just found deep inside a massive crater could completely rewrite the story of how our moon was born. This isn't just another rock sample. This is a discovery that has the scientific community buzzing and scrambling for answers. It challenges a theory we've A trusted for decades about the moon's violent origins and hints at a history far more complex than we ever imagined. What China has just uncovered could change everything we thought we knew about our closest cosmic name. The audacious mission to the hidden hemisphere to really get the weight of this new discovery. You have to understand just how bold China's mission was in the first place. On January 3rd, 2019, the Chang'e 4 spacecraft did something no other nation had ever pulled off. It made a soft landing on the far side of the moon for decades. This was seen as a monumental challenge, not just because of the rugged crater-filled terrain, but because of one huge problem, communication. You see, the moon is tidally locked with Earth, meaning it spins at the exact same speed that it orbits our planet. It's a cosmic dance that ensures we only ever see its near side. The far side is perpetually turned away from us, creating a total radio dead zone. Any lander there would be completely cut off, a lone explorer lost in a void. To solve this, China first launched the Kuikiao Relay Satellite, placing it in a special orbit way out past the moon. This satellite acts as a cosmic messenger, bouncing signals between the lander on the surface and mission control back on Earth. It's the critical piece of tech that made this whole thing possible. The landing site itself was chosen with incredible foresight. The Von Karman Crater. This crater sits inside a much bigger, more ancient scar known as the South Polite Khan or Spa Basin. The Spa Basin is the single largest and oldest impact crater on the moon. A gargantuan wound stretching 2,500 kilometers across. It is so huge that scientists believe the cataclysmic impact that created it billions of years ago was powerful enough to punch right through the moon's crust and dredge up material from the mysterious lair beneath the lunar mantle for decades. Getting a direct look at this mantle material has been a holy grail for planetary scientists. It holds the chemical blueprints of the moon's formation, a story that, until now, we've only been able to guess at. And that's exactly what the U-22 rover, deployed by the Change 4 lander, went looking for. The bombshell and the regolith. For years, the little U-22 rover has been trekking across the floor of the Von Karman crater, using its advanced instruments to see what's hiding under the lunar soil. Its ground-penetrating radar has already mapped out hidden layers of ancient lava flows buried 300 meters deep, revealing a violent volcanic past. But the mission's most stunning find came from its spectrometer an instrument that analyzes what rocks are made of by looking at the light they reflect. In the dust, the rover spotted something amazing. Minerals like olivine and low calcium. Here on Earth, these greenish minerals are common deep inside our planet's upper mantle. Now, the leading theory of the moon's formation, called the Magma Ocean Hypothesis, predicted that the lunar mantle should be full of these minerals. The idea is that the baby moon was a hot, molten ball of rock. As it cooled, lighter stuff floated to the top to form the crust, while heavier minerals like olivine sank to form the mantle. Finding these exact minerals was a huge window. First time scientists had identified what looked like lunar mantle material right there on the surface. It seemed to confirm a decades-old theory. But here's where the story takes a sharp turn. The initial analysis presented a puzzle. If the impact that created this basin was so massive, scientists expected the ground to be littered with mantle material, mostly olivine. Instead, U-22 only found traces of it. It was confusing. 
Where was all the mantle rock? So, the rover kept exploring. As it analyzed, material kicked up by smaller, deeper impacts, a new picture started to emerge. It turns out the lunar mantle might not be what we thought. The data suggests the mantle isn't dominated by olivine, but has a more balanced mix of olivine and pyro. That might sound like a small detail, but it has enormous implications. It challenges that clean, simple model of the magma ocean and suggests the cooling of the moon and its separation into crust and mantle was a far messier and more complicated process than we ever knew. It's like we thought we had the first chapter of the moon's history figured out. And China just found out it's all wrong. Rewriting the moon's origin story, this discovery forces us to ask a huge question. If our model for the mantle's composition is off, what else have we gotten wrong about the moon? The consequences ripple outwards, affecting everything from our understanding of the moon's internal heat to its volcanic past. A mantle with a different recipe would cool at a different rate, create different kinds of lava, and lead to a completely different geological history. And the plot thickened with the incredible success of Change 6 mission in 2024. This follow-up mission also landed in the spa basin and, for the first time in history, actually collected rocks and brought them back to Earth. Preliminary analysis of these precious far side samples dropped another bombshell that connects directly to the mantle discovery. The rocks from the far side appear to be severely depleted in water compared to the samples brought back by the Apollo missions from the near side. The far side rocks are essentially bone dry. This stark difference between the two hemispheres lends powerful new weight to the giant impact hypothesis. The idea that the moon formed from the debris of a Mars-sized object that slammed into a young Earth. In fact, Models of that colossal impact predict exactly this kind of asymmetry, with the far side's mantle ending up much drier. So now we have two groundbreaking discoveries from the same region. First, the change for Rover reveals the composition of the mantle is different from our models. Second, the change six samples suggest its water content is different from the near side. Together, these findings are forcing scientists to completely reevaluate their models of the early moon. We aren't just theorizing anymore. We have physical evidence suggesting the two phases of the moon are fundamentally different, right down to their chemical makeup. What's next in the new moon race? These discoveries aren't the end of the story. They're the explosive start of a whole new chapter in lunar exploration. And their next steps are even more ambitious. Missions like Change 7 and Change 8 are already on the books. These aren't just one-off missions. They redesigned as the building blocks for an international lunar research station at the Moon S South Pole. This shows a long-term strategy, a shift from pure exploration to creating a sustained human presence on the Moon. All this progress has ignited a new space race, but it looks very different from the one in the 20th century. While geopolitics is definitely a factor, there's also a surprising amount of international teamwork. The Change 4 mission itself carried instruments from Germany, Sweden, and the Netherlands. And China has now started sharing its lunar samples with scientists around the world, boosting global research and cementing its role as a major player in space. NASA and other space agencies are watching closely. The discoveries from the SPA basin are incredibly valuable for programs like Artemis, which also aims to explore the lunar south pole. China's findings about the mantle S makeup and where resources might be will help inform where all future missions robotic and human will land to answer the next big question. Questions like, how did the two sides of the moon become so different? And what other secrets are buried beneath that ancient, battered surface? Conclusion. The far side of the moon isn't a complete mystery anymore, but every answer China's mission send back just leads to more fascinating questions. The data from these robotic explorers is painting a picture of a world far more dynamic than we ever gave it credit for. What do you think is the most significant part of all this? The unexpected mantle composition or the evidence that the far side is so different from the near side? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And if you want to stay on the cutting edge of space exploration, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. You won't want to miss what happens next. Ultimately, 
The shocking update from China's mission to the far side is a powerful reminder that there is still so much to learn right in our own cosmic backyard. For decades, we stared at one face of the moon thinking we knew its story. Now, thanks to a daring mission and a tough little rover, the hidden side is finally talking. And it is telling us that the story of the moon and maybe even the story of Earth is due for a major rewrite. The pea-cratered landscape has held its secrets for billions of years, and now they are finally coming out.